documentation and reporting. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of adding written information to a health care record? A. Recording B. Charting C. Data entry D. Documenting Answer C. Data entry Question 2. Which of the following statements about documenting is not true? A. Involves recording the interventions carried out to meet the patient's needs. B. Done in a proper way. It reflects the nursing process. C. Necessary to prove that nursing work was done. D. Nursing documentation can be accepted in both verbal and written form. Answer D. Nursing documentation can be accepted in both verbal and written form. Question 3. Which of the following are basic purposes for an accurate and complete written patient records? Select all that apply. A. Sometimes used by government agencies to evaluate patient care. B. It is a permanent record for accountability. C. It is a legal record of care. D. They are perfect sources for business and marketing. E. Can be used for research, teaching and data collection. Question 2. Which of the following statements about documenting is not? Question 4. This is the main basis for cost reimbursement rates by government plans. A. Critical pathway. B. Minimum data sheet. C. Diagnoses related groups. D. Patient expense documentation. Answer. C. Diagnoses related groups. Question 5. Which of the following statements are true regarding basic rules for documentation? Select all that apply. A. Use direct quotes for objective assessments. B. If a charting error is made, draw one line through the faulty information. C. Chart only your own care even when someone else calls you for a late entry. D. Chart after care is provided, as soon as possible, and as often as needed. E. Sign each block of charting with full legal initials and title. Answer. B. C. D. Use direct quotes for subjective assessment. Sign each block of charting with full initials and title. Question 4. This is the main basis for cost reimbursement rates by government plans. Answer. C. Be certain that entry is factual even when opinions are used.
Question 5. Which of the following statements are true regarding basic rules for documentation? Question 4. This is the main basis for cost reimbursement rates by government plans. A. Critical pathway. B. Minimum data sheet. C. Diagnoses related groups. D. Patient expense documentation. Answer B. Narrative. Question 5. Which of the following statements are true regarding basic rules for documentation? Select all that apply. A. Use direct quotes for objective assessments. B. If a charting error is made, draw one line through the faulty information. C. Chart only your own care even when someone else calls you for a late entry. D. Chart after care is provided, as soon as possible, and as often as needed. E. Answer. A. B. C. E. Question 10. Charting that is divided into sections or blocks. Emphasis is placed on specific sections or sheets of information. It also uses graphics and narrative charting. A. Traditional chart. B. Problem-oriented medical record. C. Standard form. D. Cardex. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of A. Question 5. Which of the following statements are true regarding basic rules for documentation? Answer. A. B. C. E. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of adding written information to a health? Question 10. Charting that is divided into sections or blocks. Emphasis is placed on specific sections or sheets of information. It also uses graphics and narrative charting. A. Traditional chart. B. Problem-oriented medical record. C. Standard form. D. Cardex. Answer. B. C. D. Use direct quotes for subjective assessment. Answer. A. B. C. E.
Question 10. Charting that is divided into sections or blocks. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of adding written information to a health care record? A. Recording. B. Charting. C. Date to entry. D. Documenting. Answer A. Traditional chart. Answer B. Narrative. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of adding written information? Question 17. In the SOAP format, if ever there is a need for changes, where will the revisions are be included? A. Revisions belong to another format of documentation. B. Revisions are not part of this documentation. C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. D. Revisions are noted in the assessment section. Answer. C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. Question 18. Which of the following statements about focus charting is incorrect? A uses the nursing process and the more positive concept of patient needs. B. Focus is sometimes a current patient concern or behaviour. C. Focus is sometimes the significant changes in patient status or behaviour or a significant event in a patient's therapy. D. Focus can be a medical diagnosis. Question 1. Which of the following does not refer to the process of adding written information to a health? Question 2. Which of the following statements about documenting is not true? Answer A, B, C, E, F. Answer C. Be certain that entry is factual even when opinions are used. Answer B, C, D. Use direct quotes for documentation and reporting. Answer A, B, C, E, F. 
Answer A D. Answer B. Narrative. Answer B, C, D. Use direct quotes for subjective assessment. Cite documentation and reporting. Answer A, B, C, E, F. Answer B. Narrative. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved? A. It needs to be a part of the SOAP documentation. B. It needs to be explained to the next shift. C. It is no longer covered by daily documentation. D. It needs to be transferred to a permanent record. Question 17. In the SOAP format, if ever there is a need for changes, where will the revision? Answer B. Narrative. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient? Question 17. In the SOAP format, if ever there is a need for changes, where will the revision? Answer B. Cardex or RAND system. Answer A, B, C, E, F. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved? A. It needs to be a part of the SOAP documentation. B. It needs to be explained to the next shift. C. It is no longer covered by daily documentation. D. It needs to be transferred to a permanent record. Answer B. Narrative.
Question 4. This is the main basis for cost reimbursement rates by government plans. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after? Answer C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. Answer B. Cardex saw RAND system. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved? Answer. A, B, C, E, F. Question 2. Which of the following statements about documenting is not true? A. Involves recording the interventions carried out to meet the patient's needs. B. Done in a proper way. It reflects the nursing process. C. Necessary to prove that answer. C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved? A. It needs to be a part of the SOAP documentation. B. It needs to be explained to the next shift. C. It is no longer covered by daily. Answer. A. B. C. E. F. Answer. D. Nursing documentation can be ex. Answer. C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens? Documentation and reporting. Question 4. This is the main basis for cost reimbursement rates. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved?
Answer A, B, C, E, F. Question 24. In charting by exception, what happens after the patient's problem is resolved? A. It needs to be a part of the SOAP documentation. B. It needs to be explained to the next shift. C. It is no longer covered. Answer A, B, C, E, F. Answer D. Nursing documentation can be accepted in both verbal and written form. Answer A, B, C, E, F. Answer C. Be certain that entry is factual even when a Answer D. Nursing documentation can be accepted in both verbal and written form. Answer A, B, C, E, F. Question 17. In the SOAP format, if ever there is a need for changes, where will the revisions are be included? A. Revisions belong to another format of documentation. B. Revisions are not part of this documentation. C. Revisions are noted in the evaluationing section. D. Revisions are no answer. B. Narrative.
Answer A, B, C, E, F. Question 17 in the SOAP format. If ever there is a need for changes, where will the revisions are be included? A. Revisions belong to answer B. Narrative. Answer D. Nursing documentation can be accepted.